There are a lot of places we can visit on this planet. So many, in fact, that a lifetime is simply not enough to set foot in all of them. However, I highly advise the Globetrotter and you to cross these places off your list of to visits, especially number one, which is a place whose name alone makes you want to stay away. Find out where that is by staying tuned as we give you 10 of the most dangerous places in the world. Number 10. Fraser Island, Australia. If you're looking for a fun, relaxing, and safe time at the beach, then you better stay away from this place. Fraser Island's deadly beaches are home to practically everything you'd want to avoid if you're trying to stay alive. In fact, rescue choppers are frequently flown into the area to save visitors who find themselves plagued with medical emergencies. To make matters worse, there is nowhere on the island to seek medication attention, which is in and of itself another danger, but really only the beginning of the perils of Fraser. In recent years, the island has become inundated with irakanji, one of the most venomous types of jellyfish in the world. People stung by these tiny sea creatures may experience symptoms including abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, pulmonary edema, and in extreme cases, fatal cardiac arrest. Over the past few years, several irakanji attacks have been reported on the island. The island is also home to 25 to 30 packs of dingoes, a type of wild dog native to Australia that has been known to attack humans. Number 9. Death Valley, California. As beautiful as this place is, its name provides evidence of a very real danger. Death Valley is a land of beautiful yet dangerous extremes. There are mountains that reach more than 9,000 feet into the sky. And there's also a place called Badwater, which is the lowest area of land in the Western Hemisphere. If you find yourself thirsty, better pray that you're not at this place, because if there is any water there, you'd have to dig almost 300 feet straight down into the ground. It's also a place of extreme temperatures that go both ends of the thermometer. Death Valley can be dangerously cold during the winter months. Storms in the mountains can produce sudden flooding on the floor of the valley. And at the other end of the spectrum, the air temperature during the summer has been as high as 57 degrees Celsius. The extreme heat of Death Valley has claimed the lives of people in the past, and it will continue to claim the lives of those who do not honor this extreme climate. Death Valley does not forgive those who are not careful. Please don't taunt Death Valley. It won't end well. Number 8. North Sentinel Island, India. North Sentinel Island is a small landmass in the Bay of Bengal, India. Its indigenous population, known as the Sentinelese, rejects any contact with the outside world and remains one of the few peoples that remain untouched by our civilization. They value their privacy so much that they go to extreme measures to keep the rest of the world out. And just how do they keep these outsiders away from their island? Well, they simply shoot arrows in them. For this reason, it's impossible to approach the island and survive the encounter. And just how antisocial are the Sentinelese? Well, when researchers were assessing the damage after the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, even their helicopters were attacked by the Sentinelese for approaching the island. None of them were hurt, of course, but this example shows how fiercely the island's population is protecting their territory. Number 7. The Bermuda Triangle. This is probably the single most controversial location on our list today. One of the most popular and dangerous places around the world, the Bermuda Triangle is a much feared area. It is a very vaguely defined stretch of the Atlantic Ocean, roughly triangulated between Florida, Puerto Rico, and Bermuda. For several years, the Bermuda Triangle has become famous for many mysterious disappearances. Boats, planes, and the people inside them have entered the triangle and seem to vanish without a trace. There's only one person that is known to have entered the triangle and come out alive. And that man is David Copperfield, and I don't care what other people say. It was real back when I was five years old, and it's still real to me now. Anyways, um, I digress. These disappearances have been justified with many possible reasons, ranging from magnetic force to aliens. Although most of these cases have given logical and rational explanation, some of them still remain a mystery, as if they vanished into thin air. One of the most dangerous places to travel to, the Bermuda Triangle, is for those who are built of curiosity and adventure. Number 6. Lake Natron, Tanzania. Like the proverbial lights of the moth, this lake attracts wildlife from all over the area. The problem is, once this lake from heck gets a hold of an animal, or possibly even a human, it never lets go. The ghastly Lake Natron in northern Tanzania is a salt lake, meaning that water flows in but doesn't flow out. So it can really only escape by evaporation. 
Over time, as water evaporates, it leaves behind high concentrations of salt and other minerals, just like at the Dead Sea in Utah's Great Salt Lake. The lake is abundant in natron, a naturally occurring sodium compound containing a mixture of sodium carbonate, bicarbonate, chloride, and sulfates. This boosts the alkalinity of its water to a whopping 10 on the pH scale, nearly as high as ammonia. You would think that animals stay clear of this deadly oasis, but for some strange reason, birds frequently crash into it. When that happens, there's no coming back out. The natron then quickly works on the body, calcifying the carcass and sending it floating back up to the surface, so a statuesque skeleton emerges, carved clean by nature. Number 5. Mailusu, Kyrgyzstan from 1946 and 1968, the Zapindi Mining and Chemical Combine at Mailusu produced and processed more than 10,000 tons of uranium ore, mostly to supply the USSR's nuclear weapons program with fissile material. Radioactive tailings that were created in the process were dumped around the town near geological fault lines without consideration of hydrogeological conditions or the health of the local population. Today, 36 waste dumps are scattered throughout the area, containing a total of 1,960,000 m3 of unsecured radioactive mining waste, making the town a potential nuclear wasteland. The inner wasteland and fallout fan in me is just fanboying so hard right now. 26 of these waste dumps are located directly within the city boundaries of Mailusu, with its 25,000 inhabitants. Smaller settlements in the valley are also affected by upstream tailing dumps. There is a heightened risk of radioactive contamination here due to the frequent occurrences of earthquakes, landslides, and floods. Excessive protection is needed to survive in Mailusu, and without which there can be large-scale destruction and damage to life. So yeah, it's one of the most dangerous places around the world, and I don't think we need to explain more. Number 4. Dalol, Ethiopia Dalol, Ethiopia is by far the hottest place on Earth based on year-round averages, which is to say that if you average the temperature of every place on Earth for one year, Dalol's average will be the highest. While there are places in the world that are hotter at any given moment, Dalol maintains its highest temperature almost all year round. A couple of things actually contribute to the high temperatures in this place, and one is the exceptionally high humidity of the area, which averages at around 60% all year long. High temperatures and high humidity are bad enough. Add to those its many sulfur pools that continuously emit noxious gases, it's no wonder no one calls this place home. Dalal is officially considered a ghost town. In other words, no people live there full time. In the past, several commercial operations have been carried out in and around Dalal. These have mainly centered around mining, from potash to salt, but even that has stopped since the 60s because no one could withstand the extreme temperatures and poisonous gases in this place for a prolonged period of time. This is why it surprised me greatly to find out that people are having guided tours of this place, despite the risks involved. Then again, if 2020's taught me anything, anything can happen, really. Number 3. Snake Island, Brazil. As its name suggests, Snake Island is home to a huge population of snakes. According to some estimates, there's one snake in each square meter of the island. The problem is, these aren't just your normal garden variety snakes. They just so happen to be one of the most venomous snakes in the world, the Golden Landshead Viper. These Viper's venom is very fatal to humans and is so fast acting that it can finish its job in under an hour. Its venom also causes immense pain as it has muscle-destroying properties. Numerous local legends tell of the horrible fates that awaited those who wandered onto the shores of Snake Island. Rumor has it a hapless fisherman landed onto the island in search of bananas, only to be discovered days later in his boat, lying in a pool of blood, with snake bites on his body. From 1909 to the 1920s, a few people did live on the island in order to run its lighthouse. Nobody lives there permanently anymore, most likely because of what happened to the last lighthouse keeper and his entire family, which fell victim to only one of these snakes and, well, they didn't live to tell the tale, obviously. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick shows us a photo of a bunch of happy, smiling people who really shouldn't be sitting there if they value their lives. It might even make you think that this photo is a fake, but what if I told you that it's real and you can even take a photo like that yourself? Find out where it is next with number two. Victoria Falls, Zambia, Zimbabwe border. One of the greatest attractions in Africa is one of the most spectacular waterfalls in the world. Victoria Falls is located on the Zambezi River, the fourth largest river in Africa, which is also defining the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. 
It is also the largest waterfall in the world, but that's not the reason why it made it to this list. It's because of a small part of this waterfall called the Devil's Pool. Right on the edge of this massive waterfall, a calm pool of water forms. This is known as the Devil's Pool Victoria Falls. And daring visitors can actually swim in this pool straddling the edge of Victoria Falls. If you're daring enough, you can even lean over the edge of the waterfall itself. In Devil's Pool, there's a rock lift that protrudes upward which keeps you from falling over the edge. Under the low water conditions that you're permitted to enter Devil's Pool, you would have to make a concerted effort to actually go up and over that rock that's naturally keeping you in. It's only dangerous when the water level is unusually high, and to date, this place has no reported casualties, which legitimately surprised me. Even so, I'm never going to risk it. Sitting in a kiddie pool while drinking a mimosa is enough for me. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Gates of Hell Turkmenistan Those of you who are old enough would be familiar with Belinda Carlisle, who once said, Heaven is a place on Earth. And by following that logic, we can say that hell should be somewhere here on Earth, too. And guess what? We've actually found it in a small country, right smack in the middle of the former Soviet Union. In the hot, expansive Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, near the 350-person village of Darvaza, is a hole 230 feet wide that has been on fire for over 40 years. Though technically called the Darvaza Gas Crater, locals know the crater as the Gates of Hell. Its fiery glow can be seen for miles around. The Gates of Hell crater was created in 1971 when a Soviet drilling rig accidentally punched into a massive underground natural gas cavern, thus causing the ground to collapse and the entire drilling rig to fall in. Having punctured a pocket of gas, poisonous fumes began leaking at an alarming rate. To head off a potential environmental catastrophe, the Soviets set the hole alight. They figured it would stop burning within a few weeks. Ah, those crazy Russians. Decades later and the fiery pit is still going strong. Amazingly, despite the crater's foreboding name and ever-present flames, people still trek into the desert to witness the sight in all its blazing glory. Are you daring enough to visit any of these places? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch even more videos about amazing places? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!